In this video, I'm going to revisit the problem of drawing an egg. So in some previous video, I showed how to construct what is called the moss egg. And so it's a one of these straight edge compass constructions. And then I made it in uh, SVG, scalable vector graphics. And it consists of like a semicircle across the bottom. And uh, that had a radius R. And then it uh, continues up the side with a, a circular arc with a radius of 2R. And so it uses this edge point as the center of this side. And, and the same on the other side. And then at, uh, at, at it carries on with that edge long enough. And then at some point it switches over to this very small circle at the top. And you end up with these uh, diagonal lines that cross at a center so that you are uh, along this uh, radius and it's it's the same direction. You have this long radius for the side and then this very short radius for the top. And so then at everywhere, you're, it's all arcs, but at the point where one arc switches over to the other arc, uh, it is smooth because they they share the, the sort of radial direction, even if even if the radius itself is changing. So that was the moss egg. Then I saw a video that was similar. Um, in a num number file video where they were drawing an egg using a pentagon. And so his basic idea was very similar, sort of a semicircle at the bottom. And then instead in the moss egg, the, you used a point that was on the egg uh, as the, the center of the sort of side arcs. And on the pentagon, you're using a point which is sort of outside of the, the egg. It's the same sort of similar idea, but you're picking up uh, this arc uh, and from the horizontal up to some other point, but it's got the, um, the, the center is moved off of the egg to, you know, outside of the egg. And so you have the semicircle at the bottom, the side, uh, arcs with the bigger radius and then the small one at the top. And this one had an even, the side, uh, the side arcs had an even, even bigger radius than, than the moss uh, construction. Um, and so I'm going to uh, sort of parameterize, take the basic ideas that make the egg shape and the smoothness, um, but not have it be so specific as, you know, in the in the moss egg, it the the second radius was twice the first radius, and uh, in this pentagon egg, it's larger, but it's fixed by the you know by the, the proportionalities of the pentagon. I'm going to sort of make it more a variable, okay, and then but I'm not going to have as much. Then there was another number file uh, video where they interviewed somebody who who sort of really went wild sort of parameterizing eggs and egg shapes found in nature and they needed the a sort of a four parameter uh, equation equation with four parameters to get these shapes I'm still going to be a make a um, compass sort of construction. I'm going to have four arcs. So I'm still going to stick with the idea of the four arcs, but I'm going to have uh, some like parameterization. So uh, not quite as uh, strict as this pentagon egg or the moss egg, but not uh, as full blown parameterized uh, as this sort of ultimate egg equation. Okay, so here is uh, mine. It has that semicircle at the bottom, uh, a, a part of a circle at the top, and two arcs on the side. And uh, I'm going to have a point that is outside 
of the egg itself. And so I'm going to call this little distance in here D. So for the moss egg, that D was zero. Um, and it was some other fixed value for the uh, Pentagon egg. And then I'm going to let that vary. Um, and then I'm also going to this distance between the centers. Um, here's a center of the lower circle. This green is the center of the upper arc. And I'm going to let that uh, be another parameter. So, and now I have it in this, on this page, those parameters being set sort of randomly. Also, I think I have this uh, radius sort of random. And, uh, and so it gives me these different egg shapes. Okay, so that is what I want to show you. All right, so what have we got? Um, here is the the lower radius that that what little h, which is the distance between the center of the top circle and bottom circle, and that d that distance from the side where the center of the side arcs is, and I've uh given some randomness to them so i didn't know how to pick a specific uh, parameter i wanted it parameterized so i just sort of made it random there was some restriction on the combination of h and r so we need we see here that uh this the radius of this uh arc here is going to be here's capital R, here's a second capital R, and here's D. So this radius is going to be 2R plus D. Then um, from, and so that's the magenta to this orange. But then I want the magenta to the green to be smaller because I want there to be a little radius left for the top of the egg. And this is this uh, side of a right triangle is my my little h, and this is r plus d. And so I found in my playing around that if the for the most part it's this may be over strict, but if my height was less than about the square root of three times r, then I found that I could find that little radius and have it be that little radius and have it be positive. And then um, I picked a D. Okay. And from that, then I can calculate this R pretty much just a subtraction. So here is the two R plus D. And then here, this uh, math square root, that is the length of the sort of uh, hypotenuse of the triangle. So I had this big distance minus this distance gave me this little r. OK. And I had other, I tried to parameterize it in other ways. And uh, I had more trouble finding like a, a reasonable parameter space. But uh, in this version, with the d and the h and the uh, capital R, I found with a sort of a simple enough restriction on this h parameter that I could um, find uh, eggs that worked. Okay. I have some just uh, SVG technicalities. I have a container and then I translate the container. So this allows me to think of my egg as at the origin and then move my egg uh, to the center of my SVG. I made a vertical line uh, or a vertical line, apparently. A vertical line and a horizontal line, you see them. I make, uh, I find the rightmost point and the leftmost point on the semicircle, that's the black points. I was showing at one point the bottom of the egg, then I, I commented that, that out. I am going D to one side and minus D to the other side. So that is that moving that center of the side. That's the center of like rotation, if you will, uh, from the, the side arc. 
right side, right side. All sorts of craziness. Um, and that is magenta. So that was these two magenta points, which are the centers for the side arcs. Then I drew a circle. My green circle is that point where those, uh, where some lines are going to cross. So that was here. So that's H above my zero. It's minus H because of the way when you draw in computers, a uh, down is the positive direction. And so I wanted to go in the up direction. What I think of in my life is the up direction. And so that was the negative H. Um, here are the points that are on the egg, then separate the side of the egg from the top of the egg. And I just sort of use the proportion of the triangle. So, so this is the overall radius of the line that I want. And then this is the sort of uh, proportion in the triangle, effectively a cosine. And then this was my sort of starting X. And then uh, same thing for sort of Y. So I found the orange point is the point on, it's on the, on that slanting on the on that slanting line, but it's also on the egg, and it's the point on the egg where I'm switching from side arc to top arc, and those are my two orange points there. So there and there, and then I made these orange lines, which connect the the magenta to that orange point on the egg. And so that was all of just showing sort of points about helping me to construct the path that I want. And then here's the actual path. So I'm going to use the egg in a minute and throw away all of that stuff and just keep this uh, part where I'm making a path. A path in SVG has a parameter D, which sort of says, here are my points and Here's where I'm going from my points and I'm using arcs. So that's, so M is where I start and I started at R zero. So that was over here. And then I'm drawing an arc of radius R along the bottom to minus R zero. So that's, that's that semicircle at the bottom. Then I'm making the left side. So I'm that arc has a radius of 2r plus d. Our arcs in SVG are really, uh, what do I want to say, ellipses and have two radii. My ellipses, my arcs are all circular, so this radius always gets repeated. So that is, so this is the uh, arc with a big radius 2r plus d. And this is that point that we found before, those those, I think, orange points. Um, and so I went up to here. And here's the top of the egg. It has the radius of small r. Small r was not a parameter, but was easily derived from my other parameters. And then I went to this other orange point. And then I finally finished off the egg with, again, the big uh an arc with the big radius, 2r plus d, and going over to that final point, which was r0. And then I make a path and give it that d property, and I filled it in yellow with an opacity uh, of a half, so you could still sort of see through all my guidelines, stroke of red added to my, added my path to my container g, and my container g was already added to my overall SVG element and translated to put it into the middle. So that's that. Now, um, in this one, I just am using it, and I'm just sort of making this array of eggs so you can um, see that they have some different shapes. Some of them are this one's pointier, this one's more rounded. Um, and so you, I just made a bunch of some random colors, some, some varying my parameters to show that like the moss egg always has, you can change the size of the moss egg, but it has like 
fixed shape and the same thing for the pentagon egg. Now I have taken the same idea but parameterized it so I can get some different egg shapes. Again, I only have three parameters, not as many parameters as the ultimate egg equation uh, that you can find on the number file site uh, set up by, I think it was a Ukrainian team. Okay, that's what I wanted to show you in this one. Thanks for your attention.